All right, so today I figured I'd tell you something that I love and hate doing, and that's photographing in the rain. And it's great because you can get amazing photos sometimes, or it can get muddy on the fields, or you just get some good atmosphere photos with the rain falling down, things like that. Uh, but it also sucks just because of the extra gear you have to have. So I figured I'll show you some tips on what to bring and how to shoot. All right, let's go inside. All right, so besides an umbrella and a rain jacket, what else are you gonna need to shoot in the rain? Uh, just give me a second. All right, so as you can see, I have rain jacket, rain pants, um, rain boots, and it's not completely necessary to have those. I mean, you definitely wanna have a rain jacket, but it really does depend um, you know, how much money you're making, how much you're actually gonna be shooting out in the rain. Because if you're shooting a lot of uh, lower level sports, sometimes they'll just get canceled and you're not gonna actually shoot out there. So, always had a rain jacket, I think most people do, but the rain pants and um, rain boots and some of the rain gear, I didn't get until I was making more money and I was a couple years into my business. So, first things first is to protect my camera. So I use a Think Tank rain cover. It's great because it has a lot more features than the standard little plastic rain sleeves, which these are great, I use these forever. And then, and I always keep these in my bag, and you can see in my accessory video that I always have these there. But the Think Tank has a lot more features to it. Like this, it's just sitting on here. If you think it's gonna rain, you can have it ready to go, but not actually over top of your whole camera gear. So if it does start to rain, you can just loosen some straps and you know. It just folds over and then you can zip it up on the bottom. And what's great about the Think Tanks is that they actually have little sleeves here for you to put your hands up into so that you can shoot and not actually be getting your hands wet. You can reach in here, you can get the cards out. I really love these. Um, they're definitely way more expensive than the just plastic rain covers, but they do a great job. So I have one for my big lenses and one for my 7200. Just a cover for my gear bags and things like that, because if they're sitting outside, they need to be covered up. All right, so the next thing that I always have with me are just some towels. So I got a pretty big towel here. This can be just to wipe off my gear, um, wipe off the seats that I'm gonna sit on. Then I have a little smaller one. Again, just gear, things like that. And always have a couple lens cloths in my bags, because the lenses will get wet and you gotta clean them off there. All right, something else that I always just, I have in my bag at all time are little sandwich bags. So these are great, you can put your keys, wallet, phone, things like that in, um, and just keep it inside your bag and make sure that that stuff does not get wet. Um, or just memory cards, batteries, things like that, and keep them in your pockets. Also have a trash bag. So this I can put, if I'm editing, I still have to send out images. So I can put my computer in here, or I can put my backpack in here, and I can actually, edit a little bit inside of the trash bag. Um, also sometimes I have a poncho that I can just put the poncho over myself and the computer and edit away under a poncho and it just, it's miserable because it's hot and muggy and sweaty. So my first priority when shooting in the rain is to actually just protect my gear, which I just showed you how I do that. Because if your gear goes bust, you're not gonna get any images. I also wanna keep myself safe, so if it's a crazy downpour or thunder lightning, I'll make sure to head indoors or under a grandstand to shoot from there. I also like to look for just details or rain coming off of players, their feet, things like that. Because it shows that it's raining, it shows that it's the intensity, like how fast they're moving, the rain flying off of them. Always makes a pretty great photo. And just details on flags and seats and things like that, just to sort of give the atmosphere and tell the story of what was happening that day. Another thing to do is just to look for like puddles or things like that that you can get reflections off of. Doesn't happen too often, but if you're looking, sometimes you'll be able to find some. Now focusing can also be a lot tougher in the rain, uh, just because the focus system wants to pick up on those raindrops sometimes, especially if it's downpouring. Um, so my tip for that is to really just, again, make sure you're focusing on the chest and look for like the logos or the numbers or the names, things that have a high contrast 
will help your autofocus system know that that's what you want to focus on. Otherwise, just take a ton of photos. Some you'll get in focus, some will be slightly out of focus. If you take enough, you're gonna end up getting something good. And if you practice manual focusing, you can try that. I know sometimes you have to do that in the snow. If it gets too crazy, you have to manually focus, which they had to do back in the old days. So it definitely can be done. Uh, if you're not used to it, definitely try to practice it every once in a while. Those photos that really just show the atmosphere of the rain and it coming down and that it's pouring, a lot of that, if you really want that rain to show up, you want the raindrops to be backlit, which means that you want the rain between you and the light. So if it's a stadium light, right, you're shooting across the field and it'll light up that rain so it pops more in the photo. Or if it's during the day and there's somehow sun out, right, you want the sun behind so that it'll light up that rain. A lot of times you don't have a choice, but if you do, then you want to put the light behind the rain. So whenever it stops raining, sometimes you can get rainbows and quick physics lesson on that since I used to be a physics teacher. Okay. So if you're looking for a rainbow, this is how you want to be set up. You want the sun behind you, you want the rain in front of you, and then you're there in the middle looking out at the rain. So this works because the sun's shooting out light goes into the raindrop, reflects, refracts back out into the individual colors, and then you see a rainbow from all of those raindrops, all the colors adding up there. Okay, so I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, let me know. See you next time.